Legends away, so dubs on the run No turtle is safe when he's on the hunt Witness the sack, just give it a rub Cause who knows what you'll find Toy hunting with dub Hello, welcome to a Friday hunt video I got the girls with me We're at the Hilton in Northeast Atlanta I think And we're going to Joe Lanta for this Friday hunt video hey. You'll see more about this on uh, Life of the Doves episode 3, even though we haven't even seen episode 2 yet. So, very chronological confused. Before we get started, don't forget to use hashtag BeatUpFit. Uh, congratulations to all the 5,000 subscriber giveaway winners. Uh, leave us one positive thing you've done for yourself. Enter to win other prizes, all that stuff. Use the Big Bad Toy Store link. Do a little dance. Do a little shake. Do a little shake, 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 shake. We are going to hunt for I don't know what. But it's Joe Lanta, so probably G.I. Joe. So into the Hilton, here we go. So Joe Lanta, sister showed a Toy Lanta, which means you know they're gonna have the lobby swap and the room to room trading tonight. There's also a suit of armor right there, which is exciting, don't you think? Yes. You see the pricing and the information. You get that package, if you're into the 12 inch Joes, Toy Lanta and Joe right Lanta there. have the custom, uh, like, 1-6 G.I. Joe stuff. So that's cool to get if that's something that you're into. Uh, definitely check that out. Picked up our press pass successfully. There's a decent long line to get in. Opens in three minutes, so I'm not going to jump that line. I probably could. Uh, they give us an information packet, so let me, let me show you that uh, real quick. So it's got a pretty big vendor hall, it looks like. Toy swap, ticket sales. And it doesn't look like there's anybody in this hotel except for people coming here, which is which is good for a hotel con. Carolina Productions. Uh, schedule of events. So this is we're at preview night tonight. That's what you're gonna see in this hunt video. Six to eight. Room trading, social mixer. Goes all weekend. That's who we did karaoke with at Toy oh, Lanza. Oh fun. A trivia night, social mixer. Sergeant Slaughter's here, that's Storm Shadows here. All right, should be fun. Before you get into the main hall, you've got uh, kind of the outside area. It's got, oh, a lot of the show, shows coming up. Conyers. Uh, I think David's been to that show at the American Legion. Toy Lana. Retro Rama. G.I. Joe Winterfest. These are all kind of all over the Southeast. Just kind of go over them quick in case any of you are interested in any of this stuff. Uh, let me some information for you. Custom figure contest will be down there. So it's, it's going to be pretty similar, I think, to the way Toylana set up, just maybe focusing more on vintage uh, and older items. Yeah. 12 inch Joe's. I think we'll see a lot of that. Oh, look at all the horsies. Look at all those horsies. I like it. It's Thunderbolt horse. Yep. That's cool. Black rabbit. Oh. There you go. This is cool. Phone cases, keychains. Dice. Uh, trays, I guess. I the Walmart shoes, vintage shoes. Oh, I saw uh, Foosh open those up on his play day this week. Mark II. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. This is your stuff here? This is Mark. He's yeah. taking a look at walking around. Yeah. A lot so of 3D printed stuff. Getting yeah, the two weapon sense. packs. They look good. Yeah, well, they're they're legit. They're like, you know, he's getting a mold from China and stuff like that. Nice. So he's trying to phase out all the 3D printing that he used. That's what I heard. I heard yeah. uh, Foosh had those on, Robo had those on his video yeah, this yeah. week, and he was, yeah. he was talking about, because they, these are unpainted, right? So you could paint them, That's and then correct, yeah. phase two is going to be to apply some paint to them. And, yes. Yeah. Are these 3D printed, the Optimus Prime? Yep. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. You got the, for the three and three-fourths. Oh, nice. Right oh, that's a very cool. Very cool. Patreon coming. We might come back around here. Those weapon sets are nice. They look good. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. the wide lens on. Display around here this. Uh, oh, there's the WWE ring. The new ring. It's Jack. I immediately see that. 
pretty uh, pretty decent sized, uh, similar size to the one day comic show we go to. There's Martin. We see Martin a lot. Uh, so I think there's a lot to look at here. Let's start looking around. Well, we're just gonna start here and I'll show you a little bit of everything here. How the Yeti. You know, I, I have very little knowledge about these. You know, any, anything that's a toy that predates me being alive, I don't know a lot about. Uh, even like the Knickerbocker Lord of the Rings that Natalie has been getting me, those predate me being alive as well. I didn't know they existed for a very long time because how would I? You know, most of, a great portion of my life is pre-internet. So, I, you know, I wouldn't know. America's movable fighting man, G.I. Joe. But the, you know, I've watched like the toys that made us and those types of things about G.I. Joe. It's fascinating how that product has become so much of what we have today. Big Brother Ken, Ninja Turtles, trading cards. Rocking the, these kind of pollen yellow George. What do you got? Your new Air Maxes, Sailor Moon Vans, Kicks on Fire. Give us a little shake. Oh, that's a spin. I hear you. Uh, visible Woman. King Kong's Thronester. You know, I don't know, like, if you're a Hot Toys or a six-scale collector. I've never thought about, like, will some of the accessories that are from some of this old stuff potentially work? I don't, I don't know. I just not paid enough attention to it, and I need to do better. Of course, Retro 3 and 3 quarter Joes always draw my attention, but I got to stay away from Vintage. But I always look, like Serpentor. I actually have a Serpentor. It's a better Serpentor. Got the cowl and the fangs intact. Well, the twins. I like the twins. What made you say, oh, the naked? Oh, little. It's like, is that Migos, maybe? Pants. Look at that, man. You like them in their tight pants? These are hot pants. That's a, yeah, then the hot pants. Oh, I hear you. Fort Apache fighters. I got poor guys seen better days. That Remember the is cool. Yeah, Matt the He-Man one. Uh-huh. I, I have not I keep being tempted by lunchbox. Well, we did the Hogan lunchbox we that you, that we got it. Uh, I think Joe Fest last year. 2021. But I don't know what that is. I mean, so there's a lot of these that are one six type accessories. But I bet you could you could use in the right setting with certain things I believe I believe somehow I just completely missed the, the wall of carded April figures down there four different April figures none of them the original that's interesting to see just a bunch of Aprils Fort Apache alright on we go Let's see what we got some Joe oh custom Joe wetsuits that's neat latex wetsuits wetsuit man Oh, it hasn't arrived? That's thanks. Come back tomorrow for more. That's cool. That's good stuff. That's neat. Macho Man Randy Savage? That is. That's Macho Man Randy Savage and Million Dollar Man. Macho Man Randy Savage, Kaya. What's Rufus's full name? Rufus's full name is... Speak up. Rufus's full name is King Rufus, um, Macho Man Randy Savage Wilson. Yes. This is Toy Department. You know, they don't have their Toy Department sign up. They just know it is Toy Department, which they always are going to do big money on the G.I. Joes. Did you say this is the brief time he was trying to be your husband? Not a macho king? Give us a point at his hind end. Give us a little, little point. <laughs> you can actually walk up to a toy department's booth, unlike at preview night of Toylana, where I believe they made $400,000 in the first seven minutes. Yes. Only Joe Fest. Only, only at Joe. Oh, that was Joe Fest. It was Joe Fest. That's right. It was like, I, you could actually walk up That's to your uh, booth today. Bronze Bombers. Not Toyland, at Joe Fest. Because at Toyland, they were at uh, Columbus Toy Show, I believe. Look at all this loose. How much for the bucket? It's, it's such a cool thing. Nemesis Enforcer. This is probably currently my most wanted classified 
figure for them to make, especially now that they got Slaughter coming so you can fight him. I like Nemesis Enforcer in the movie. Serpentor's coming, so I think he's got to be coming. He's got the spikes on his elbows. Yeah. I hope they make him. Because the twins and Slaughter are coming, and those are would have been my most desirable. Uh, but this is what Toy Department does so well. Like anything you want in this space, they're gonna have complete, loose, just the weapons. It's amazing how many Joe products that they have. It really is. It really is. Oh, six million dollar man headquarters is here. Uh, this is a GI Joe vending machine. I was just showing this, looking at Macho Man. I didn't even realize this what it was. So you just pluck out. I don't know how much. Two coins a play. You just pluck out a GI Joe. Y'all having fun digging in the missiles? Yes. You ask him how much for all of it. Oh. He might make some good money if he took the time to individually sell those on eBay. But it would be a miserable experience doing that. But you have to know what they're like. Are they to that plane? That's certain of them will be incredibly valuable. A bunch of file cards. I don't know what the huge thing is right there. That big light right there impacts the uh, visibility. That's that. Yeah, it looks like it's part of the lights of the Hilton. At least for the camera. There's some Marvel Legends. There's He Man. Are those little skateboards? Kind of little mini oh, mini scooter. Oh, that's cool. Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Ghostbusters. Peter Venkman, Ty's favorite. What's this guy? Is that is that a, is that a go bot? This looks like Psychill. Whatever. I don't know what that is. Y'all tell me what that is. Don't don't yell at me if I should know. Sea Wolf. That's a bright light. A bunch of naked bodies. You like that one? Oh. Okay, do you like this one here? Oh, I was looking at the whistling spooky pookie tree. Yeah, whistling spooky pookie tree. It's hard to show that on camera. It's getting whited out. That's a very bright light. Sea wolf. More horses. Action series. I do believe Kai is the only child in here, and there are not many females whatsoever, but there are horses. Kai, you gonna ride that horse right in front of this lady? No, why not? Oh. Big tank. It's a Greg Cook item. Troubleshooter. Uh, I mean, right now it's primarily one, one six. Joe's, that is the vast majority, although it looks like it's gonna change on this side. Natalie was saying, look at the really small Snake Mountain. That's only because we have a humongous <laughs> Snake Mountain. That, I don't know if that's an original or like the Orig I don't know if they made an Origins Snake Mountain yet. They made a Castle Grayskull. But that that could possibly be the original. Or a, an original. It's similar to the original. To reissue. Falcon. I don't know what that is. Peacemaker? We haven't gone down the middle. We haven't gone around the side. We'll go down the middle here in a second. Did you say it's Dobby? Puppy. puppy. What is a puppy? Hey, puppy. What's up, little one? Makes me miss our puppy. It does. We'll be back to our puppy soon. Uh, some Joe stuff. Tom Brady car. Dreadnought Thunder Machine. I like that. I do like that. Uh, Joe stuff here. Action Man. This is more modern. I don't know what that is. And a bunch of classified. What is 37? Cobra Officer. It's 36 Spirit. 35 or 38 is Storm Shadow. Bone Collector. Some Action Force. A little bit of Action Force there. Let's see prices. Which is never a good thing. Oh, that's uh, the Monkey Wrench uh, Custom. I remember seeing that at Joe Fest, I believe. I think that was debuting there. Oh, yeah, I hear you. The ultimate soldier. Quite a bit of the Fortnite Snake Eyes. I think that's Croc Map. No. She had your classified series Hero Earth. I don't know what. Maybe that was the Snake Eyes of Timber. 
battle platform is cool. Look at that. Lucky shot, scale leather. There you go. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. You could definitely use these type of custom accessories. Like that's certainly made for a, to make your own snake eyes. But like you could easily use that for like Joffrey to have his crossbow or Tyrion or like these are handmade and they're they're for your one sixth. G.I. Joe, but you could easily use this. I mean, that's good detail on the gun. Paint it up. Use it with your other 1-6 stuff. And the swords. Like, you could use that for Michonne's sword if you wanted to. Or if you want to make your own custom Michonne. As opposed to this guy. But if you want to put it on this guy, it'll work with that guy. He's wearing a laser mask. He is. These are cool. I like seeing these. I, I think this is one of the really mature parts of the 1-6 Joe hobby. Is because those figures haven't been made in 40 years. To make anything new, it's all going to be custom stuff. So I think that's neat to see how people have been appreciating their hobby for, you know, 40 or 50 years. So you can get the naked body right there and just do it up. All this stuff, you know what I mean? Just a tool belt? Uh, I mean, that's, uh, yeah. That's what Brittany was looking for, a kickboxing this morning. Shirtless with tool belt. That's a Hulkbuster G.I. Joe. That's Hulkbuster G.I. Joe. That's what I'm looking at. That's a Cobra Buster. Oh, that vehicle's cool. See, all right. I mean, you telling me you can't use that stuff with your one six? That thing's cool right there. That's cool. Like the paint on it. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh, and the kilt underneath. Well, that's a quarter scale guy there. Yeah. That's neat. Chicken fried toys, definitely. Uh, we see at Joe Fest, ma'am. What's this? Oh, we never went to the art show at Dragon Con, yeah. We always spent way too long at, uh, at the other stuff. Oh, that's life. We'll go in there and look at the dime novel legends here. Johnny Lawrence. They're setting up the detox. Always enjoy seeing Oh, look at that big Mezco five points. What's up, guys? Some cool stuff. Oh, Cowboys of Mume, so. I, I, I think their Dime Novel Legends three and three quarters look great. I think they really do a really nice job on the three and three quarter side. You got horses, chariot, and then all the accessories too. So definitely check out uh, Chicken Fried Toys. Dime Novel Legends. See some of their stuff. There you go. Chicken fried toys. They had a lot of cool stuff. It's setting up. Preview night, a lot of, uh, a lot of setting up going on. You want to put Captain Planet over there? I've lost the ladies. Captain Planet and the Planeteers. Now that's quite a thing to see. The double dragon figures, Adam's family, humanoids, Cadillacs and dinosaurs. I have no recollection of that. Land of the Lost, Bucky, Gargoyles, you the Star Trek Turtles, Superheroes, D D, April. That's a cool booth here. A very cool booth. Defining moments. Thundar the Barbarian. Wow. That's a cool booth. We haven't gone to that booth yet. I think that's Toy Federation out of Greenville. Y'all just got a punishment from there? Yeah. Well, it wasn't really punishment, but we saw the rugs and they looked very cool. So we went over there and we started flipping through them. And we got near the bottom of the stack and the gentleman approached us and was like, those are somebody else's. They're just storing them here. They're not Why are you trying to take somebody else's we rug? Is that a Dennis Rodman rug? That is a Dennis the, Rodman rug. They had the turtles. They had the turtles. The Skeletor, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they look really good. Huh. They're very I wonder small. who made those. I wonder if my man uh, Bearded Pop Hunter made those. I know he makes rugs. Huh. Down the middle we go. Oh, this is more from that same booth. The Bill and Ted. They had graded Bill and Ted's. I feel like that was that Joe Fest that I almost bought. But the shadow, Tales from the Crypt Keeper. This booth is cool. They have all these just really, really 
Battlestar Galactica, the Robin Hood movie toys. Yeah, those may be reaction or like reissue. I don't know. That booth is cool. Ladies have already quit. I mean, no, they just I called just, it. I was just getting a piece of gum. Now. Having some gum. This looks like multi Mattel multiverse. That's Mattel multiverse. Let's see what's in the Lucy bin. Maybe we'll find something we need. Maybe we'll find something we need. You never know. Dazzler. Strange. Tachaka. That's one I need if I can find Tachaka. Gambit. I wonder if they're going to make a cell shaded Gambit. Uh, cap. Fantastic Four. Tigra. So I got all these at 15 apiece or two for 20? Two for 20, 15 apiece. Cool. Thank you. What's the price? Green Lantern. Yellow Lantern. I used to have so many lanterns. It's actually a good price on uh, on the Lucy's. Is that the new Wally West? Or is that no? That's a multiverse. I don't think that's McFarlane. Uh, I'm gonna dig through these for a second. There was some cool stuff, but you know I just don't collect this anymore, and I don't need to buy it. I've thought about getting all the VHS Legends because Kai is starting to enjoy X Men, and we do have a Sentinel. But I just don't need to. That's an expensive one back in the day. That was Walgreens exclusive Agent Venom, I think. Cyclops. You know, like, are they going to make a VHS tape of Gambit? I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. If I decide to go down and pass some baths. Some Mezco, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Far From Home. Boy Biz back there. But everything. That's good. Justice League. A little bit of everything at Apocalypse. I remember, uh, I think Steve had to do something to earn the arm for that or something when we were going to Michigan, I believe. Could be wrong, but I believe. See, I told you they quit on me. There's Chewbacca. Mm, that's Black for Santa. Oh, that's true, yes. He was, I just saw the top. That's true. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to ask. Oh. Got, uh, Andre the Giant as uh, six, from Six Million Dollar Man. Have I ever seen that in person? I don't know about that. Show classified. Uh, I don't think any of that we need. Shows here. I don't know what that is. There's the naked bodies. Lots of the naked bodies. These must be some custom head sculpts, I guess. Show bodies. Suppose that's what that is. Comics, a little bit of comics. Oh, Silverhawks up there. You don't see carded Silverhawks all the time. There's a little bit of everything in this booth. Got that blue graph. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Alley Viper. I think that's the robot. Yeah, that blue grass is cool. Jacked up card. That's cool. Silverhawks going away. We just bought them both for 275 total. They gone. Is that uh, Fortress Maximus? Or... This is the type of booth to mess around and find some, uh, like, just like that. A Nazgul from Knickerbocker Lord of the Rings. That's the type of booth to mess around and find some things like that. And they just got random vintage things in the way. Oh, mask. Oh, every time I see it, I think about it. Oh. First appearance of Carnage up there. Symbiote suit. Venom. Oh, oh that's Sam and Frodo. All three of them. How about the Amanda Man? Wow. That's quite a thing to see all together. I'm just standing in the booth with all the things I'd like to buy. The, uh, I heard the showrunner say that this the same hotel Toyland will be in will be bigger, double the size. Uh, the guy that's had us out here. So thanks to Joe Blanton for having us out. Uh, my man here is buying all the heat. I mean, Silver Hawks, Mask, he's just buying it all. I hear you. He does have the heat. I, I see. I see. Ooh. You know, we have a problem when we have them carted and loose, and I'm still looking at them like, huh, do I need more? I, we actually have two of them loose. One on a horse. Oh, that's true. 
Then no, I don't need more. That that is my next great temptation. Mask is my next great temptation because I loved that show, and uh, and all of us at Grove and 80s love the theme song. I don't know that we ever had a single one of those that wasn't from the yard sale that worked that would actually like convert. Like that. I guess he's got the mic in it. Of course. I gotta stay away. Buddy is he's just whipping out the whole bank. He's buying all the heat in this booth. All oh, love it. That lino tempts me too. My goodness. Natalie found loose complete mum raw as well. I think loose complete close to it. Kai's looking at first appearance of Gambit, first appearance of Venom, uh, first symbiote suit. I don't know what that is. Let's see what it's. Uh, second Black Widow, the first, the origin of Watcher, second Martian Manhunter. That's an iconic cover. First Carnage, Kaya. That's the first appearance of Carnage right there. Yeah, we have most of those. Oh, the superpowers. I'm just stuck in this booth. Toy hunting with Dub is toy hunting with Dub in this one single booth. I got stuck. Same booth. Looks like a complete nemesis enforcer. Got the wings. Got the little, like, Cobra Law thing. Said, uh... I bet we can get down to about 140 for those. It's only missing the mo oh battle beasts. It's a koala bear and a moose. Battle beasts. If those symbols still work, those are not going to be cheap. Now those I have with weapons. Those were cheap. In fact, there's a very famous story that I got in punishment. I and the whole way down to South Florida to visit our grandparents, I had to ride in the in the like back back of the station wagon, not the back seat, in the cargo hold. Because I tricked Kimberly into giving me five dollars, and then I took it and I bought a battle beast from somebody at church with it, and I told her that I was gonna like get something and give her her money back or something. I, I told a fib, and uh, then I had battle beast, and they made me ride with the suitcases on the way to vacation. That was my punishment. No seatbelt, no nothing. It was a different time in the eighties. It was a different time, but it was for battle beast. I liked those. We had to flee from that booth before I bought Thundercats and he man Mask. I had to run away. How much for the booth? I had, had to run away. Yeah, all of them. So some custom made heads for uh, old school Joes. A lot of custom stuff over here. Over here we've got uh, 3 0 Storm Shadow Snake Eyes. I love those figures. I have those. Big tank. I mean, a Mr. Cook item. The horsey. I think that's the raven, right? Isn't that what that's called? The night raven. I like that. I always like to see Joe vehicles. Things, another thing we never could afford when we were younger, but it's a deep hole. But man, Jeff Slap Happy Toys. I did like those. I did like those, yes. They're, these are the weird things they're starting like to get into. Actual with actual hair. So, like, back with, with Classified now, like, they had the Cobra Island stuff that you got from me for Valentine's Day. Yes. They've got Tiger Force coming. It's these. They're doing, like, the the new, like, these weird stuff, like, Battle Corps. And, oh, wow. You know, after a while, they just have to repaint things. Yeah. And uh, reissue and make money. But I did like, I mean, as a kid, I, I certainly liked all the neon colors and what have you. Let's see. Looks like some cool stuff in this booth. Got some classified. I see Ernie. Zorro, Acto, Secret Wars stuff. What's that? A graded Raphael, 10 back Raphael, 350. And humanoids. You don't see that every day. Although the more of these vintage type shows we go to, you see more often high predators, aliens, acid rain. Those are like one twenty fourth or something like that. They go with those big mechs. Is that one of the Avatar Falcons? Uh, where am I looking? Up at the very top, beside. Oh, it's possible. I'll have to look at the list. That uh, Hot Topic Glow in the Dark Chase Hang on Air Scooter. That one. Yeah. Let me look real quick. Well, I'm walking over here. It is one of the five Avatar pops that Natalie needs. Who would have thought that's what you find, uh, Joe Lantern? That looks like a $1,300. A graded was originally sealed. I bet they had them open this to show you all the contents of that snowcat vehicle. 
You see how it looks like it's all like originally the way it was? I bet they sent it in sealed and had them open and display it. Yes. It looks unused. Or maybe just the flap was open so they couldn't grade it sealed, so they did that anyway. What was the silver fox that just got sold over there? No, 450. That's a better bluegrass. There's a lot of heat here. We'll have to look up. Oh, there's a sentinel. We're going to look up. Oh, there's a <laughs> new generation ring. We'll start to see those just like we see sentinels. We're going to start seeing galactus, the ring. We see uh, unicron, snake mountain, oh, board troopers, two pack. Ooh, returning to sky. Oh, I have that. Stevie got me that from my birthday. A lot of graded stuff here. Prototype Boba, Black Series. That's another place you could end up seeing uh, Knickerbocker. Samurai Turtles 3 figure. Alright, I'm gonna look up that. Sky Strike, I'm gonna look that up. Yeah. Yeah. The other ones probably were too. I was just pointing out that that's what Classified's starting to do to reissue. I don't think there's been reissues of these yet. But that, that's like the target exclusive is those types. I wonder if I can find a Tiger Force. Let's see, because Tiger Force is what's currently about to come out. Python Patrol. So this this Python Patrol, uh, there's Vipers and Bats and Leaders. This is the new Cobra Island at Target, the oh, Python okay. Patrol. So it has like that weird, uh, whatever you'd call that design on them. Huh. Those are the Target exclusives now. Because they're done with the Cobra Island, I guess. He does have the Ramen Toys 80s Commanders, the Centurions that uh, I have. That, I think that's the first time I've seen those at a show. What were you? Oh, and he has the Quicksilver for Ramen Toy as well. Which one? Dashing oh, Beetle? The Bashing Beetle. Oh, from Motu. I think it's the right price. I mean, that's the price it is everywhere. I think we'll probably skip that unless we find something to try to bundle it with, which would be different. Like if uh, I wanted the Falcon for $600. Some more Joe Classified 25th Anniversary. That's the Walmart reissues. Some Commander Bly. Mm, I don't know if I've seen that. I think I probably had that at one point. With a Defiant. Wow. 100 bucks. The big spaceship. That's cool to see. Front red gun is missing. Airlock pegs. It's not much. That's cool. It's one of the Mega Grails. I don't know what I'm looking at. There's a Rambo stuff. More back here in the mask. Devastator. Is it all of Devastator? These are probably... Those aren't original. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. Oh, 84. They may be original, huh? But it's not all of them. It's four of them. If I ever came across a, a vintage Devastator, that'd be hard for me to pass up. I like those bubbles. That guy's cool. Very nice. We're back down the middle back at Macho Man Randy Savage. Now we're going to sweep around and go to the, the last row. Uh, you know, then we'll probably roll out with a pole out for uh, this Friday hunt video. Hopefully I'm filming this right. I'm trying to film a little bit for both and I'm getting very confused. Very confused. I do not think I went into this booth right here. I do not. I don't even know what those are. Those must be customs. Good, how are you? Of course, I'm good. Man at arms, uh... Classics. Yeah, let's see. They got a loose one as well. Oh, nice. Probably have more than one. Well, there's a lot. Oh, I'm just realizing this is an entire like classics booth. Well, no. Or we a, a significant classics yeah. booth. Yeah. yeah. There'll be lots of Joe here tomorrow. I can't get we gotta uh, have to take a little gander. Man. 65, that isn't bad. Oh, that's uh, one of the guards. Is that a guard? Man at arm. Hold on. Hold, hold that for me. <laughs> hold that for me. We're going to have to do a little game. So, Ultimate He Man, Ultimate Skeletor. Oh, that's the filmation. I have those. Those are the ones I have. Oh, is that filmation? I don't, did they make a. Yeah, they did make a filmation, Man at Arms. Tila. Mm. Uh -oh. There's not 
guys okay? Oh, not me. Make sure I didn't do that. I don't believe I did that. Oh. Conquest wing, Larry. Conquest wing, coming in hot. Hey, this is the this is a murderer's row up here. We've I mean, got Fordak. Scare Glow Classics. That is not going to be a cheap item. Nice. Beast Man. Fake Anti Attorney He Man. Oh, Trap Jaw Filmation. Oof. Yeah, I have those. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. No, these. a lot of these are... We have Squeeze. We do have that one. I want Clam Champ. I have War Troopers. Oh, there it is. Oh, nice. Over here on the wall, the Lucy wall. Who are you looking for? I don't know. I'm just going to... I don't know. I got to dig a little bit. I had to walk away from that booth before I spent way too much money on that Masters Classics. I don't need to buy anymore. I want the Horde Prime. That's a high on the want list. Because I don't think they'll make that in the Masterverse. And we have uh, other Horde items. But Classics have gotten so expensive. And he's got them priced fair. But fair is expensive. <laughs> I just don't need to drop that kind of money. Want to though? Coming up on the last of the vendor area. The Godzilla costume? I don't believe anybody's ever opened that, probably. Oh, it's for Joe? Does the Joe wear it? Huh. Maybe. Some six scale. Oh, you got like the 300. Huh. Oh, are these a sideshow Lord of the Rings? Where'd the girls go? Huh? Costume with mask? That Collegeville? This used to be the best thing in the world you could get for Lord of the Rings. These are horrendous. But they used to be the best thing you could get for Lord of the Rings back in the day. These old sideshow. Yeah, they're not very strong now. That Toy Biz Ring Wraith might be kind of cool. I wish we could find a... Uh, special going on on the... Yeah? Uh, on the Lord of the Rings? These are all exclusive, so by the way. Oh, are they? Yeah. I'll do the whole set for 600 bucks. Buy them all. One free. Buy them all. So these are all exclusives. That have extra, oh, the bigger they ones. They have extra yeah. gear in them. Yep. Uh, what it is, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the Lammas bread or... So he's got the exclusive Oh, yeah, the Sideshow exclusive. Yep. I like those... Uh, those guys are cool. Yeah. Well, there's a one of them. Aragorn, Gimli. Set up. And Spartans. Those are cool. It looks like this is some custom work there, huh? Oh yeah, those guys. Yeah, it's cool. It's not for me. Is that legs? Are those legs? Oh. We passed on all of the uh, sideshow. But the thing about those sideshow is the clothing actually, I think, looks really good. Like I saw the Aragorn there. It's just the head sculpts and the bodies are not very good. Uh, it is, yes. It's like Dark Orca. I don't remember what that character's name is. That's a classics. Uh, but it's not Orco. It's just like a bad guy that like is a wizard like that. And wants to take him out. Clawful. We have Clawful chained up. Snake Mountain thanks to sent our way. A little pet shop up there. Oh, there's the Mezco set. I think I feel like I saw or, uh, Thundercat set. I feel like I saw that at Dragon Con too. Comic Con set. Art Master. Hulk Legends. Yeah, we have Thing Fang Foom. 450. Thing Fang Foom, the most expensive build a figure in the Marvel Legends line. Probably the second most expensive overall figure to Dragon Man. But yeah, we still have our Thing Fang Foom. Alley Viper, 50 bucks. Aren't those just available? 
Odin. Mutate in April, new for 93. Yeah, the unreleased marketing sample. They were definitely set up at Dragon Con. 100%. Because I saw that and I didn't know, thought that was probably the film. Willow. Optimus Primal. Uh, there's a lot of cool turtle stuff in there. More unusual, the mutations. They like transform. They like transforming Ninja Turtles. Like it turns into oh, head clubs. Yeah, it's near the end of that line, and you know they're trying to do different things to get kids to buy them again. I never owned those as a kid. I owned them as when I had my full collection. But those I never owned as a kid. I had already abandoned that line at that point. I wonder if they have Secret of the Use Shredder or 11 by 17 frames. Those were for sale at DragonCon. There's a Jon Snow and a Tyrion. We have both of those. There's Tonto. I don't know what that is. Bat Lady. Oh, who is that? Aomer. We have Aomer. Sideshow Gambit. Uh, this is the new Rick. This just got put into my pile of loot. So in our uh, September pile of loot unboxing... You'll see me get that newest Walking Dead figure that's come out. Hot toys here. Hot toys, hot toys, hot toys. Uh, Godfather 112? Is that a 12th scale? God, I'm about to pull that down. Look at that. I don't want to pull it down one-handed. One moment. Oh, there's the new ring. Just look that thing up. Shark toys, the father. It looks pretty doggone cool. I'm honest with you. Pretty doggone cool. 25th anniversary. Isn't that the set that was at GameStop on clearance, but now they've got it out on the 25th anniversary? Have I seen that set? I don't think I have. Splinter. Uh, so then here, Joe. one six. Three zero Red Ranger Ahsoka. Oh, there's, there's the shredder I just got. Big PCS shredder. Batman. Joe's. Joe's, Joe's, Joe's. Terrifier. All right. I think it's time for us to roll out. All right, ladies. Is there anything here you're going to purchase for yourself? I don't think so. I don't think so. But there was almost a thing we were going to purchase. There was. there was a thing that is on the list. The Avatar Pop. That's the biggest thing on the list. So, uh, you know, I, I'd say it's good. Let's it's head outside and we'll talk more about it. Rub it. All right, so we've stepped out. I did want to show you. All I showed you was this, the vendor hall area. There's all these other things. I'm going to cover the rest of this on Life of the Dubs Episode 3. We'll try to check out custom stuff. I don't know if we'll be here for a concert, uh, that kind of thing, but maybe. So you've got like a social mixer where you can hang out with your fellow fandom people. I think that's a customizer room and a contest. Toy swap meet where if you're not selling, you just want to trade concert restaurant trivia so there's a lot going on so i would uh, definitely say this is something to check out before we go i don't think i really realized what this was these are cool uh i mean maybe i'm just so they these are like ad advertisement recreations or yeah 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 so yeah so Museum, okay. So oh. take, take a flyer. Yes. And then you yes. Yes. Up the museum. Give you guys a QR code. Guide. So it's like um, detailed electric checklists and, and that type of thing. Yeah. Like that. See what you're missing. And it also looks good. Yeah. I mean, they, they look great. A lot of collectors' guides don't tend to look as you know. Some of them look really good, but you know, uh, I try to. Make is there? A, is there? A, is it? Just, is it an app? Is it a website? It's is a website. It, it's a website. Is there a physical version? You can purchase a physical, like a bulk of all of the. Well, you just buy the prints. Not like yet. So yeah, I don't have enough content yet. Oh, it's, but eventually. Man, maybe. Take, like, this oh, I'm, I can't imagine. Two weeks I to can, do this one. I can't imagine. I mean, this is <laughs> a lot me of work. Week and a half. Are you taking these pictures yourself? Yeah, I do it all myself. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I do, and I'll, I'll have a studio set up. I take all the pictures, do all the research on all the um, the action figures, make sure everything's correct, and then. Um, That's cool. Put it into a suit. The goal is as soon as I get enough content to separate it into a, like a, a yeah as a, as a collector's guide. That would be awesome. Yeah, that's very cool. The whole 1983 line. 
That's cool. Thank you. You got it, man. Still here. I'm gonna, he has turtles, so we're gonna have to get some of these. We're gonna get some. I like this, and I like the I like the concept. This is a thing you guys should go uh, support. These are these are really neat. I mean that I love that. And he these are all his figures, and he takes his own pictures with his ten year old daughter. That's who works this project together. I mean that's that's so neat. We're gonna go that one. That one. All right, well, we'll just that one. I'll I'll see see what I see. That one. The Tiger Force is awesome. D and D. Superpowers. Wonderful. That was neat. I really appreciate that. We picked up. Uh, I showed you eight of those prints. I don't know that I'm going to put them on the wall because we don't have a lot of wall space. But a, I wanted to support him. Because I believe in that mission, they're really good price, ten bucks each. B, I don't think you necessarily have to have them on the wall. That could be like reference guides, or mm -hmm. just you can get a book to put them in. Yeah, sit and look at them. They're really cool. And uh, I don't. Maybe he wasn't set up when we walked in. I'll see when I look at the the video because I didn't see him at all. I, and I, that immediately drew my attention when I saw that great big like GI Joe. Did we walk down that way? We walked in the middle, but we walked left, and we saw the guy selling the uh, guns that yeah. Robo had reviewed. Uh, so maybe we just missed it. <clears throat> yeah, I think we might have just missed that whole section over there. Because we didn't have the gentleman talking to us about books either. That's true. The gentleman that was kind of uncomfortable. I feel like, yes. <laughs> right, down in the corner. feel bad for him. Kai's just walking ahead. She don't want to be on camera. She's walking like she got to take a dump, oh, too. Oh, wow. You're clenching the butt cheeks Wow, butt cheeks clenching. <laughs> Well, that's it for a family Friday hunt video for uh, Joe Lanta. Man, I hope I've said that right every time. It's very <laughs> confusing with Toy Lanta, Joe Fest, and Joe Lanta. Yeah. But Joe Lanta 2022, we appreciate them having us out for press. They actually contacted us. That way you please come cover it. Gladly. Um, got some cool stuff. I'll be back here tomorrow. You'll see that on Life of the Dubs episode three. Uh, I think Kent and Greg are going to be here and all that, but that's a week away for you. Uh, but hope you enjoyed the Friday hunt video. Use hashtag BeatUpFit. We'll talk to you next time. You know what that means? It's time for... Squeeze!